everyone, welcome back. Okay, so today I am doing my Inglot haul, which is part of my New York IMATS haul series. So, um, I got a lot of stuff at Inglot. That was like one of the main things that I wanted to go to get when I was at IMATS. But once we were there, we realized Cassie had been to IMATS before. And so she said, hey, you know, the Inglot booth is always super packed. If you kind of want an opportunity, if you're willing to forego the like 30% discount that you would get at IMATS, we could go early and swatch the shadows and that way you could have like a little bit more time, not feel so rushed. I kind of had a list of the shadows that I wanted to look at um, and then when I got in there, I, it ended up getting, you know, the list and more. So they're just so creamy and buttery and gorgeous and pigmented and awesome. I just, I can't say enough good things about them. So I got... Um, because they have palettes that you can keep them in. Now I'm just going to show you. I got two 10 palettes and one 5. The reason I didn't get the 20 pan was A, they ran out of them. And B, um, I've heard it's really heavy. So I just kind of wanted something that I could grab and go. So this is what the 10 pan looks like. It comes like this and it has like magnets on the side. So you can slide it open like this. And um, there are your shadows. So the one, only thing that um, is kind of difficult about these that you might want to go for a Z palette, which is what I know Cassie and some other of my friends have put their Inglot shadows in, is it, they're kind of difficult to get out of these pans once you put them in. I know there's a trick, but you kind of have to like wedge a small thing in there and pop them out and you could damage the shadows that way. So um, if that's something you're concerned about, you can just go ahead and pick up a Z palette. I don't own a Z palette, so I can't say anything about it, but I ended up just picking these up. And so like I said, it's this one and then the other one is basically just, just like this, but just with five. So it has several different finishes. They have like pearls, they have matte squares, they have uh, high shines. Um, I'm just going to go over, I will tell you the finish on each shadow, I will swatch it and tell you the number, and then I'll try and list those numbers below. So I'm starting in no particular order. Here is $3.99, and it is a pearl squared. And right here is number 355, and it is a matte squared. Just a really nice creamy neutral color. 465 and it is a DS square. It's 420 and it is a pearl square. Right here. This is 319 and it is a matte square. It's like a really pretty pink color. This is 344 and it is a matte square, like a taupey grayish color. This is 402 and it is a pearl square. This is 421 and it is a pearl square. Really pretty coppery-ish, burgundy color almost. This one is 444 and it is a pearl square. This is 326 and it is a matte square. Very. This is 378 and it is a matte square. This is 363 and it is a matte square. This is 357 and it is a matte square. This is 358 and it is a matte square. It's almost like a taupey purple smoke. This is 154 and it is a shine square. right here. This is 349 and it is a matte square. Right there. 
461 and it is a DS square. Matte with like some sparkles in it. This is 397 and it is a pearl square. Almost has like a little bit of 422 and it's a pearl square. It's 328 and it is a matte square. It's like a very nice skin tone color with a little bit of it's almost like painterly paint pot. This one is 153 and it is a shine square. Such a pretty taupey color. 36 shine square. Really nice silver. Right there. 434 pearl square. Right there. 423 pearl square. It's this one up top. 14 shine square. Zero eight shine square. Okay, so those are all the Inglot shadows. I hope that that um, format worked out for you so that you could really see the color and write them down. Um, I'm sorry I didn't say very much about the color besides the color and the name. Um, I just wanted to try and make it most efficient. I thought the close-ups would be better than me kind of just swatching it right here and you'd have to look from a distance. So, um, as you can see, that I got very a lot of different finishes. Such pretty colors. The mattes are so matte. The mattes are matte squared, which is like similar but even better than the matte squared eyeshadows from that MAC has. Like their matte squared are so velvety and creamy. That's what these are like. But all of their mattes are like matte, matte squareds. So they're all super buttery and creamy and it almost feels like velvet on your finger. The shines... The shine ones, it's like this one right here. You just have to put your finger in it a little bit and so it like comes off on your brush and it's just like go glides on over your eye. Seriously, I would definitely look into investing your money. Go on, if you're interested in these shadows, I think I said it in my Friday favorites, um, but go on Max website or Go on Inglot's website, look up swatches, look up Temptalia.com. She has awesome swatches. Um, several other people have YouTube videos on their on their favorite or on their Inglot eyeshadows. Definitely go and look it up um, and find the colors that you want and order online. I know there are very few um, stores. Some Macy's actually have a little Inglot counter in the store, but I know that they're few and far between. So if you don't have an Inglot by you, Look up swatches online. I looked up a bunch at Temptalia. I looked up some videos on it. A lot of people have Inglot videos. That way you can see the swatches you want, write down the number, and then go ahead and order from there. Um, honestly, I feel like you would not be disappointed because the shadows are so amazing. I cannot say enough good things about them. Definitely an awesome investment. And uh, they do all come in pan form like that though, so they do not come in any type of pot. So you will have to have some type of system to keep them in, like a Z palette, or if you want to go ahead and order the Freedom System, which are their palettes from Inglot. Um, or you could just use an old MAC palette that has like the magnet thing um, on it. So anyways, love, love, love Inglot shadows. I hope this was helpful and... Uh, yeah, I feel like I have a really good start to a good collection. These are, I will use all of these shadows. I, I love all the colors that I got. Thank you so much for watching. And uh, up next will be my experience and uh, clothing and accessories haul, which were, was not very much. It's mainly going to be me talking about my IMS experience. So I hope you all have a wonderful day. Thank you so much for watching, and I'll see you all in my next video. Mwah.